Alright guys, the true answer to why you can increase muscle size through high rep training lies in anatomy and muscle physiology. And as you may know, our muscles are composed of different types of fibers classified based on their function and metabolic processes. But what's important to know is that we employ specific muscle fibers based on the type of physical effort and exercise we do. The interesting discovery about high rep training is that it eventually employs the whole muscle fibers as you get more and more drained of chemical energy, regardless of whether you do push-ups, chin-ups or dips. This tells you that if the exercise you are doing is hard enough, like in the case of dips or push-ups, even if these exercises are submaximal strength exercises, you will still recruit fast twitch fibers eventually. More specifically, you will utilize the fast twitch oxidative glycolytic fibers, which are the intermediate fibers. And they usually respond to endurance training, and volume training is, after all, endurance training. These muscle fibers have a large diameter and therefore produce a large contractile force. Besides that, they both use glycogen and oxygen, one of the reasons why you can endure more working sets and reps. Now, guys, if you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to the channel, and if interested in training programs, you can check out my website, it's linked below. Back again. Look, I can endorse this theory easily with many years of my practical experience. I did only volume high rep training for an extremely long time to understand all there is about it. So I know even from this perspective that it works. Now, obviously it depends a lot on how strong and used you are to exercises because there is a difference in strength levels. The standard pull up can be a maximal dynamic strength exercise for you and to me an exercise that in the beginning it will employ mainly the slow twitch fibers. You have to find the intermediate variations because maximal dynamic strength exercises will only recruit the fastest and more powerful types of fibers and that is limited training for many good reasons. Every time I do volume workout high reps I feel that I'm totally exhausted somewhere towards the end of my workout. And the ex explanation is very simple, I reach muscle fatigue. There is no more glycogen left into the muscles, nor ATP molecules available in order to recruit fast twitch fibers at their best, as when I am fresh. That means they get recruited as well. It's also why high tension isn't the most essential aspect to consider when doing volume. That mainly applies when you do maximal strength exercises like sprinting or jumping in full power, doing clapping push-ups or weighted push-ups with weights that allow merely 1-3 reps per set. These are all using fast and very powerful muscle contractions. Now to conclude, if you ask me, you should be doing both types of training. At least this is what I used in order to build my physique is the best for when it comes to hypertrophy training. So this was it, useful information. I hope you'll utilize them with great effectiveness. I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Salute.